I want to thank 1776 for allowing us to host an event that reflects the name of 1776, which is all about independence, freedom, equality, the organizing principles of our nation, and the organizing principles of the internet. Today, I am introducing legislation that will codify the four principles of net neutrality. No blocking, no throttling, no pay prioritization, and strong interconnection policies. Congress needs to end the confusion at the FCC by establishing clear rules. My bill is the strongest net neutrality legislation put forward to date. We are seeing the, the success of the streaming revolution, the migration, the business revolution to the cloud, and that competition is, is driving our economy. It connects people to the, to the largest possible market and opportunity. Startups everywhere in the country rely on net neutrality protections to keep the internet a level playing field. Even a small, young startup that doesn't have a ton of funding can succeed on its merits. Nearly all of America's 1.3 million realtors depend on open access to affordable, high quality internet service to adequately serve our customers, clients, and market properties and conduct business. It was such a win for the US startup ecosystem when the FCC issued strong net neutrality rules in 2015. Those rules, as you guys probably know, uh, kept ISPs from blocking or slowing online content or charging websites and others for better access to users. Today we, uh, do, do not have net neutrality protections, and each day without these protections is one day too many. It is really quite simple. You pay your broadband provider for, for internet access. In exchange for your payment, you should get freedom of access without market distorting arrangements. In a world where ISPs can pick winners and losers, startups have a harder time reaching new users and competing against the biggest players. And without fair access to users, startups aren't able to get investment, they can't grow, and they can't be the job creation and economy boosting companies that they are today. When we talk about net ne the future of net neutrality, what we're really talking about is the future of the internet and the future of commerce in this country. Make no mistake, this is a Main Street issue. My bill is pro-consumer, pro-competition, pro-innovation, pro-Main Street business, pro-First Amendment, and ensures that this country remains a global leader in internet policy. This is not a partisan issue. Democrats, Republicans, independents overwhelmingly support the net neutrality principles outlined in this legislation. The only place where the need for this uh, bill is questioned is within the beltway of Washington, D.C. Startups and their users in every district across the country need strong net neutrality protections, and the debate here in D.C. should reflect that broad support. When I talk to my constituents, they tell me they strongly support net neutrality. It is time we listen to them. I will also be signing uh, today Congressman Doyle's discharge petition to bring the CRA to the House, to the House floor for a vote. It is time we establish an internet constitution we all can rely on. We applaud uh, what, what Congressman Kaufman has done by listening to the people in his district from the grassroots uh, to the largest to the smallest companies who depend on the open internet. And the internet is just too important and I hope you will join me in this effort. Thank you.